Yeah, the first one's pretty big. Um, so warning to anybody who's got a, a Radio Master Ranger module. Uh, basically, Radio Master released a statement um, that says there's issues with the Radio Master Ranger, um, but it looks like it's uh, both versions of it. Um, and if you plug in the XT30 connector, um, it has a possibility to fry your radio because you're oh. plugging in that XT30 from the from the radio so yeah that's that's no good yes. uh and it is it is a hardware defect in the module yes. uh something like like when you plug that xt30 in it could be up to a i think a 4s voltage i think it's between 2s and 4s if my memory's correct and your radio is probably running off of 2s and uh therefore they need to be protected from each other and i'm guessing that that somewhere in there that has failed um, and that, that voltage is getting fed back in. That is purely speculation. But what we do know is that Radio Master has acknowledged this. Uh, I was super disappointed to hear this because the whole point of the Radio Master Ranger line is that Radio Master is making high quality, trustworthy hardware, not like all those other y yuck chuckleheads. And um, now, whoa, wait, we're frying radios. So the least they could do is make it right. Um, yeah, what have they, they said have, about how they're yeah, going to make it right? Which they have said they'll do. Um, basically, I've already talked to one user who um, he posted in your Discord, and he said he got a. Uh, they're going to send him a replacement board for his radio and the replacement uh, board for the Radio Master Ranger when that is done. They've mm -hmm. guaranteed they'll ship out a Ranger PCBs for everyone after Chinese New Year, and they can get new ones done. Mm -hmm. um, until that time, obviously, you shouldn't use the XT30 connection, and if you do damage your radio, um, you can contact them directly at their after sales support. There's a link here. Uh, we'll have that in the video description. You can click on the post and then click their bit.ly link uh, for their after sales support team. Uh, okay. So it does look like they are trying to uh, make good on this. Also, people want to make sure it's clear that um, it looks like it's the micro and the nano, but that single, the, just the Ranger module that's not a micro or nano, the $99 one does not look one. like it has this issue. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So everybody makes mistakes. It's unfortunate, especially when hardware is getting fried. And I, I hope that they stand behind uh, their reputation. Everybody who fried their radio, they replaced the, the fried hardware. Uh, I know there are going to be people who are annoyed if the solution is we ship you a board and you replace the board. Because they're like, well, shouldn't you just ship me a brand new radio? Or shouldn't you take my radio and take it to your service center, which may or may not exist, and uh, and repair it? And that's... The kind of service uh, you would get if this was Spectrum, I guess. But yeah, they say uh, they do say replacing the PCB is very easy. It requires only a screwdriver and a few minutes. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, I feel like in the world of FPV, the level of customer service we've come to expect is we will give you fifteen dollar rebate on your next purchase. Right. And so, if they're going to send you a whole new radio board. Sadly, uh, that's actually like above and beyond. I don't know. Yeah. Um, um, also, I'll just mention that it's the, uh, if you order from Radio Master, they'll automatically be sent. They're not asking you to request them, which is different than a lot of mm -hmm. manufacturers do. And they said if you order them from somebody else, you can contact the retailer uh, for those replacements as well. So. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's good to know. For now, do not, do not plug anything into the XT30 on the back of those modules. By the way, not not that you have to. I mean, like you might conveniently decide that you want to, but you don't have to. There's no yeah. reason to do that. You could, I, I mean, is there, there a reason be, to do that? There might be some radios that can't go up to that one watt. I'm not 100% sure. I guess it depends uh, on the internal power supply inside your radio, whether it can really do that one watt or not. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, well... Uh, there we go. Now you know. And um, we will uh, wait to see the outcome, uh, and we will follow up on this. Let's make sure we follow up on this, Blunty, and make sure that they're following through in the way that uh, we hope that they would. Yep. Okay. All right. And we got yeah, one like, more PSA. Oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Like Brian Lewis says, if you've got the Radio Master Zorro, which has a really small internal battery, you might want to do something like that, but you could just as easily use the external. The Zorro has an auxiliary power plug that you could also use, which uh, which could work. Anyway, 